What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. We continue here with my 2024 college football schedule preview and projected record series. The Cincinnati Bearcats are up next and before we preview their schedule for 2024 and give them an early projected record based on how tough their schedule is, let's take a look back at what Cincinnati did in 2023. Here are my projections and predictions last year for Cincinnati. My projection had them at 6-6, six and six, and then my prediction for them was also 6-6. Six and six. So I did have actually Cincinnati projected and predicted to go to a bowl game last year, but it really didn't surprise me that this team did go 4-8, to be honest, in 2023. In Scott Satterfield's first year, of course, you know, they had a first-year head coach and everything, and they obviously made a move to the Big 12 last year as well. So they were coming off a 4-8 season in their first year in the Big 12, so not a very disappointing season and not a, like a uh, disappointment in my opinion for Cincinnati. I uh, kind of expect them to be somewhere like at 4-8, and 5-7, and seven, or 6-6. Six and six. This was the schedule from last year for Cincinnati. You look at who they played in the non-conference. They played Eastern Kentucky, Pittsburgh on the road, and Miami of Ohio University Red Hawks. Uh, so that wasn't a really tough non-conference schedule at all. Pittsburgh was a tough one there on the road, but they ended up winning that game. But they lost to Miami of Ohio, of course. That was a very disappointing loss there for Cincinnati either way. But the Red Hawks turned out to be a pretty good group of five team last year. And then you look at the losses coming in Big 12 play. Lost to Oklahoma, BYU, Iowa State, Baylor, Oklahoma State, UCF, West Virginia, and Candace all here in the Big 12. So yeah, the Bearcats only had one win last year in the conference in the Big 12. And that was, of course, against Houston here on the road on November 11th. So again, the schedule wasn't very tough, but you know, it was kind of tough there when he had to play Oklahoma State and Oklahoma on this schedule. And then, of course, West Virginia and Candace. Both of those teams turned out to be pretty good teams as well. So, yeah, the schedule was pretty tough last year in the Big 12. Let's now look ahead to 2024. Here is the schedule for Cincinnati. And before we go game by game, let's take a look at who they will play in the non-conference for this upcoming season. So you look at their non-conference schedule, they will play Townsend, Pittsburgh, and of course on the road at Miami of Ohio University Red Hawks. So the non-conference schedule pretty similar to last year. Instead of Eastern Kentucky, though, uh, they will play Townsend here in the season opener, and then of course Miami of Ohio University Red Hawks. In a rematch from last year, this time it will be on the road, so that's kind of like a revenge game there for Cincinnati. And then you got Pittsburgh here again. This time they will, pl will play the Panthers here at home in a non-conference game out of the AC. So that's your non-conference schedule here for Cincinnati in 2024. Let's go back to the schedule now and go game by game now for the Bearcats. They will start things off with Townsend here on August 31st. Then they'll play Pittsburgh after that here on September the 7th. Then they'll play on the road here at Miami of Ohio University Red Hawks here on September 14th. So they will play all three of their non-conference games to kick off the season. And then after that, they open up Big 12 play here against Houston on September 21st. Then it's on the road at Texas Tech here on September 28th. And then they get a bye week here. Then they'll get a bye week at Shit say here right after Texas Tech before playing UCF here on the road on October the 12th. So they got back-to-back -back road games there with Texas Tech and UCF, but the good news is they get a bye week in between those two road games. And then they'll play Arizona State here at home on October 19th, then on the road at Colorado on October 26th. And then in the month of November, they get a bye week before playing West Virginia at home here on November 9th. Then it's on the road at Iowa State on November 16th, then on the road at Kansas State on November 23rd. So back-to-back -back road games here and back-to-back -back weeks this time against Iowa State and Kansas State. And then they close things out with TCU here at home on November 30th. So that is the schedule for Cincinnati for 2024. Uh, this schedule is not very, uh, you know, it's a tough schedule for Cincinnati, but either way, it's not really that bad, and it's not horrible for the Bearcats. Uh, you know, compared to last year, I think this is definitely a more easier schedule for Cincinnati. Uh, you look at the reason why it might be easier just because they don't play Oklahoma State, they don't play Kansas, they don't play Arizona, and they also don't play Utah. So you don't have to play those four teams. They don't have to play. Baylor, which Baylor is not going to be overall that good of a team. And plus, with Texas and Oklahoma now gone to the SEC, the Big 12 could get a little bit easier for Cincinnati. But again, this schedule is not very bad at all for Cincinnati for 2024. So let's now get to the projection here for the Bearcats for the upcoming season. This is the scale I use here 
for my projections. If it's a 1% game in the red, uh, again, that percentage is counted as an automatic loss, and then your 20% games here in the orange. Will be games where Cincinnati will be about a couple touchdowns of underdogs, and then your 40% games here in the yellow are going to be games where Cincinnati will be a clear underdog game by about a touchdown. And then your 50-50 games will, of course, stay in the white. Games, I think, can really go either way. And then your 60% games here in the purple will be games where Cincinnati will be favored by about a touchdown. And then your 80% games here in the blue, they'll be favored by double digits and also by a couple touchdowns as well. And then your 99% games here in the green are pretty much your easy wins and also your automatic wins there in that percentage. So we'll start with the easy wins and also the automatic wins here for Cincinnati on this schedule for 2024. Uh, you got one easy win, and that's Townsend here on August 31st. I think Cincinnati will be a big favorite here in this game. Uh, they have no business to lose this game either. I think they'll be favored by over 95% in this game. And definitely favored by 18 to 21 plus points here in this one as well. This is not a guaranteed win because we've seen, you know, sometimes where a, uh, you know, non-conference team like a group of five team, for example, you know, upsets or, you know, upset, you know, an, you know a power four team, something like that. So this is not a guaranteed win, but it's counted as an automatic win here in this particular projection for Cincinnati uh, for this schedule for 2024. And then I got one game on here. I think Cincinnati is going to be favored by double digits, and that's going to be the game here on the road at Miami of Ohio. And I know the Red Hawks beat Cincinnati last year. It should be a game that's in the purple, but I'm going to stick with it here and put it in the blue for right now. Miami of Ohio might not be the same team as they were from last year. Uh, they probably lost a lot of production from that good team that they had, so I don't really know. I don't really study, study the group of five teams that much. But I think Cincinnati will be clearly double-digit favorites here in this one uh, by 10 to 14 points, somewhere in that range. So I think Cincinnati will be favored here uh, by 10 to 14 points against the Red Hawks here. So those two games are not guaranteed wins, but we count these as wins here. Uh, the Townsend game is a pretty much an automatic win, and that Miami of Ohio game, it's not an automatic win, but we still count it as a win either way here in the blue. So, And then you look at the rest of the schedule. There's not really any other games on here where you can favor Cincinnati. Cincinnati by about a touchdown. So let's skip over to the games now where, now where I think Cincinnati will be an underdog in. I don't have any automatic losses on here for Cincinnati, but I do have one game on here where I think Cincinnati is going to be a double-digit underdog by 10 to 14 points, somewhere in that range. And that one game is going to be on the road here at Kansas State. So I think Cincinnati will be a clear double-digit underdog here against the Wildcats. In my opinion, this is probably the toughest road game here on this schedule for Cincinnati. Again, they don't have to play Oklahoma State. State. They also don't have to play Utah, but you know, you have to play Kansas State here on the road, which I think is going to be their toughest road test here. But don't get me wrong, it's definitely a very winnable game when it comes to the Big 12 this season. Any game is winnable here in the Big 12 for all these teams in the Big 12 that you're seeing this year. But again, Cincinnati, I think, will be a double digit underdog here uh, just because it's on the road in a very tough place to play at Kansas State. And like I said, 10 to 14 points somewhere in that range. And then we go to the games where I think Cincinnati will be a clear underdog game by about a touchdown six seven eight points somewhere in that range i got three games on here the yellow for the bearcats texas tech west virginia and then of course iowa state so i got two games here in the yellow on the road and then west virginia here at home uh, the reason why both of those games in the yellow turned out to be yellow games texas tech and iowa state is just because they're both on the road both of these teams of course made it to bowl games last year and then west virginia just because that game is at home that's the reason why cincinnati will be a clear underdog in this game. If it was on the road at West Virginia, I would favor the Mountaineers by double digits like Kansas State, uh, 10 to 14 points, somewhere in that range. But I think Cincinnati will be a clear underdog in all three of these games, like seven, six, seven, eight point underdogs, somewhere in that range here in the yellow at 40%. So all, the, all these three games, I think Cincinnati will be clear underdogs. And then the rest of the games on here are pretty much 50-50 games. I got Pittsburgh, Houston, UCF, Arizona State, Colorado, and TCU you. So six total 50-50 games here for Cincinnati on this schedule for 2024. And you look at that Pittsburgh game, I think Cincinnati will be favored in that one just because they have the home field advantage, maybe by a field goal. Same thing with Houston and TCU and then of course Arizona State. UCF and Colorado I think will be favorites by field goals, but these are pretty even matchups here in the 50-50 range here for me for Cincinnati uh, for this upcoming 2024 season. So let's now get a projected record here for Cincinnati. This is 
not my official prediction. This is simply a projection based on how tough the schedule is. So we count that one green game as an automatic win. Then you count that one blue game as a win as well. And then you average out that one game in the orange at 20%. And then you average out these yellow games at 40%. And then you average out all six of these 50-50 games here at 50%. And the overall projected record for Cincinnati comes out to be 5-7 and seven here for 2024. So that's what the projected record is for Cincinnati for this upcoming season. Uh, you Basically, when you look at the 50-50 games here, you count those two games, uh, you know, in the green against Townsend as a win. And then you count that one game in the blue as a win here as well for Cincinnati. Let's say they win three out of the six games here in the 50-50 range. That's three wins, and that, that's also five wins total for Cincinnati just because based off of those two wins against Townsend and Miami of Ohio University Red Hawks, which are not guaranteed wins. But, you know, if you count those 50-50 games and let's say they win three out of the six here, that's going to give you a projection about five and seven here for Cincinnati. So that's how the 50-50 games work if you split those 50-50 games. I can definitely see Cincinnati definitely can making it to a bowl game this year. But if they go four and eight or maybe like three and nine or worse, uh, Cincinnati definitely, that's going to be a very disappointing season in Scott Satterfield's second year. But I do expect continuing, uh, you know, I do expect Cincinnati to continue to improve in the Big 12 this year and also for years to come as well. But a five and seven projection here for Cincinnati for 2024. Give me your thoughts on this Cincinnati team down in the comments below. What do you think their projected record is for 2024? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross Sports Channel.